at her door. I'm in love. It's stupid, yes, but it is true. I tried to hide and confide in myself that I couldn't meet someone like you. However, life has never managed to challenge and reward all at the same time. And now, in this grand puzzle, I could put the pieces together. Yours and mine. Do you remember when I first told you that line? I simply said, Sorry, miss, but that is a nice flower on your head. I don't mean to intrude or to be rude. I would like to ask where you got it from, if you don't mind. I couldn't tell if you found me repulsive or interesting, as you stared right back at me and proved to me you were listening. This is something you won't find on a shelf. This is a flower I made myself. I found that adorable and had to ask further. Why of all flowers do you choose a yellow rose? I asked her. It is the color of happiness. Red is meant for passion and what would draw attention. Not to mention the creeps that would flirt and would believe that is an invitation. In a moment, I felt like I was cut down at the knees. But I was willing to learn as she continued to speak. Blue would provoke a friendship, but would imply hardship is looming. White would mean purity, and purple would place me as royalty. But to those who'd know would instantly judge as they do to think me as snobby. Why would someone think of that? They hardly know you. People judge with their eyes, not their heads or their hearts, she replied. I don't think that is true. I feel you need a chance to understand. She quickly stepped back at me. How could you begin to think like that? You're a man. Your perceptions of what is gorgeous and what is not is based on whether or not you think you have a shot. Please believe me when I say I am not. You are right in a sense. Not all share those views. I just think you're beautiful, and that flower is complimentary to that simple fact. I replied. Tell me how you arrived at that. Someone who can appreciate the little things sees so much more than what the world could be. Their beauty doesn't stop at the slightest knock or at the hardest drop. Their pain seems distant, although real, and it is demonstrated in how you make people feel. I know you may not see it in yourself, but try and look at it through the eyes of someone else. I want to hold a mirror to you so I can show you what has always been. In this wild and wild world, you can see beautiful, and in doing so, you are beautifully seen. I realized that I had been talking to her for far too long. I didn't realize where the time had gone. Um, sorry. I didn't mean to take too much of your time. She looked back at me and waved her hand. It's fine. In that one exchange, your view of me changed. You gave me your name, and together we walked until you arrived home again. Months went by and I cherished the moments we would, could meet. That night, I melted when I arrived at your doorstep and laid a single yellow rose at your feet. The way you blushed as it meant so much, how you wondered what it must mean. With a wedding band held in my hand in a hushed tone, I asked, Wendy, will you marry me? <laughs>